Hicks, uh, coming to you live from Bangor, Maine. Uh, I'm a physician assistant. I've practiced emergency medicine for 14 years. And three years ago, next month, I opened a wellness center, the Inner Greatness Center, where I'm really hoping to bridge the gap between modern and alternative medicine. So coming to you today, um, kind of with a confessional, um, my science, uh, the way that in which I do things, it's always evolving. And I've always taken fish oil. I've recommended it to patients. If you're one of them, please listen closely. So this all started last week. Um, one of my good friends, thank you, Jason, um, he asked me, <laughs> hey, hey, Teresa, thank you so much. I don't know how you, I don't know how people with straight hair do it though. It's like always in my face. So thank you, Jason, for making the recommendation to watch the documentary Food Choices. It took me a while, but finally tuned in. Uh, and it kind of made me really think about something that I'd been thinking about in the back of my mind anyways. So I'm plant-based, yet I still take an omega-3 and 7 supplement that's fish-based. And I did that because it's a very clean product uh, and it also contains vitamin D. Um, but something was kind of always nagging at me, like, should I be taking this fish? So I started looking a little bit more into some research. Now, in August of 2018, uh, I reviewed, um, there was a systematic review and a meta-analysis uh, meta published in the Journal of American um, Medical Association. So a very well-known journal. I'm gonna post the link for those of you who are geeks like me in the comments below so that you can see this. But what they did is they showed us, they evaluated the effects of marine-based, so fish-based omega-3s on the effects of lifespan, sudden cardiac death, heart attack, and stroke. And guess what they found? There was no benefit. No benefit to mortality, uh, to, to stroke, to, to heart attack. And so then I'm thinking, well, what about people with disease, like people that have already had strokes and heart attacks? Should they be taking them? And again, no. And this is weird because I remember in school reading about the DART trial. So this was uh, in the 80s. A bunch of researchers proved using a group of 2,000 men that this actually improved mortality. The thing that we don't hear about is the DART 2 trial. Same researchers, 3,000 men, completely different outcome. So why is the American Heart Association still promoting that we use fish oil, right? Like we hear that it's so good for our hearts um, and this meta-analysis, in other words, this um, analysis of looking at many randomized clinical trials is showing us otherwise that was just published in August of 2018. Okay, so we have to think probably there's some money involved. Um, so, you know, uh, uh, supplemental companies making money. Um, but then I started thinking, it's also been proven to be really healthy for our brains. Um, so yeah, hey uh, Melissa, I'm getting to that. Um, so then is it, is, it good for, is it good for our brains? Um, and being plant-based, you know what? Flax seed and chia seed, they're great for omega-3s, but omega-3 um, uh, essential like short-chained, so they're, they're high in ALA. Um, and so I was kind of wondering, uh, is this good enough? So if we eat a tablespoon of flaxseed and chia seed, these are our short chain omega-3 fatty acids known as ALA. But guess what? The body's really smart and the body can actually turn this into the long chain omega-3s, the DHA and the EPA that's in the fish oil. So I'm like, okay, cool. Like, do I need to take the 250 milligrams of um, preformed EPA and uh, DHA that's recommended. I'm thinking yes. And the reason why is because of our brains. So as we age, our brains, they atrophy, so they shrink. Um, and those that are supplementing with omega-3s, their brains aren't shrinking as much, which means that their cognitive function, their ability to reason and make decisions, it's actually improved. So I don't wanna lose out on that benefit. So, and I'm sure that you guys don't. So, the other problem though is, can we just get what we need from flax and chia? Probably not, because as we age also, our body's ability to um, uh, convert the short chain omega-3 into the long chain, it's, it's not as good. 
So what can we do? We can use algae. So algae is kind of like um, at the bottom end of the food chain, right? So algae is um, high in omega-3s. If you have a great fish oil product that's tested and it's a BP um, or it doesn't have the PCBs and doesn't have the contaminants and toxins, okay, fine. The problem with a lot of fish oil though is that it is either rancid because it's not tested uh, or it contains a lot of these chemicals. Um, and the highest, um, the way in which we're getting most of our PCBs uh, is through the consumption of fish. So, and guess what? Fish is number one. Unfortunately, because I know a lot of you guys like this, um, is salmon. So the risk associated with eating salmon even just once a week um, for, uh, developmenting, uh, for developing uh, diseases such as diabetes, Alzheimer's, um, there's a cancer risk associated with the consumption of fish, not good. So, hey, just wanted to throw this out there, throwing myself under the bus, showing you guys that I too uh, am human, making mistakes, uh, it's really important that we all continue to learn, right? Like continue to educate ourselves. So just to kind of recap, um, we uh, aren't getting cardiovascular effects um, from taking omegas, threes. Um, what we are getting is um, brain, you know, cognitive help. So help with our brain. So think about uh, where your fish oil is coming from, uh, if it's a good one. Uh, and uh, if you want to do a plant-based, uh, 250 milligrams of algae. Uh, and uh, of course, taking uh, flaxseed and chia seed, a tablespoon daily. Um, so what I would recommend though, if you have to pick between chia seed and flaxseed, just because of the lignin content, uh, I would do flaxseed hands down. So um, a tablespoon of flaxseed uh, daily, uh, we know that lignins uh, have an anti-cancer effect. I'll do a whole nother video on that. Um, but anyway, hope you guys have found this helpful. Um, and if you have, like it, share it out, um, and continue being you guys and being the best supporters ever. So hey, thanks for everything and uh, talk to you later, bye.